you became the United Nations president, what would you do? Uh, reduce 80% of the employees, cut down 80% of the agencies, because most people are sitting around doing nothing. What we need is the productivity of the 20%, which are awesome, will do the 100% of the work, but will do it in real term. Because if you have too many people, you have too many approval system, you have got too many meetings and checking of spelling and changing words and nothing, you know. So if, if, uh, if the UN were to do something, first of all, it has to design incentive for all the country members and stakeholders towards a very collaborative and um, you have to incentivize them for their own purpose in order to fulfill the collective purpose. So for example, if I want everybody to, let's say, have less poverty. So we have to say, you know, if you do it like that, then we will have, you will collect more taxes. Then they say, oh, I like less poverty because I want to collect more taxes. You have to create the incentive in the language. Although your real intention is to end poverty, but your incentivization of the people must be according to what they want, right? And then they say, okay, I like it. And also, you can win more votes and you can stay in power longer. If you are very efficient running the country properly, and then he say, yes, but then, you know, I need to buy votes, I need to pay people, otherwise I can't stay in power. He said, not really. Because the power comes from the people, and then if you do it like that, in the short term, how do you play the game? In the long term, how do you play again? And the communication, every time you do something good, how do you speak it out? And eventually, you coach these people to become benevolent dictator, to become meaningful people. And then they say, my goodness, I am still in power, but this time, I don't have to corrupt the system, and I'm doing it right. Thank you. You teach me. This is the way. You have to talk to people practically in their terms for their benefit and then align them to the big picture mission. Can BOP do this? Of course. Every year, roughly, there are 300 to 400 billion dollars of foreign aid, charity buying, foundation money. This 400 billion dollars did not create a real impact. So why are the donors so stupid? Why do they continue to spend their taxpayer money or their own philanthropic dollar to create no impact? Currently, they only want entertainment for the foundation. So the NGO forgot that their job is to improve the life of the poor. Their job becomes to entertain the donor. Whether it is a sovereign donor or a foundation. So the entire game is upside down. Nobody benefit because the donor didn't understand what the poor need. So some will say, I like education. So they put a lot of money into university who don't need more money. And I want prestigious university. But the poor one is the one that is not prestigious. So you give it to Harvard, and Harvard will have more money and more money, and is that philanthropy getting anywhere? It's a waste of money. And then, what do you get? You get to say, do you know I donated $100 million to Harvard? What's the point? So these are the issues where if you really, really want to solve a problem, then we start thinking how to solve the problem. But if you really, really want to make your family foundation name look nice, then by all means go and say, 
hey everybody my declared intention is to look nice for my foundation nothing to do with the poor nothing to do with society you got it you can't say that so you're lying to yourself so this is the kind of pretentious society and then some say I only want to do in this country in this state in this in this in this and it become very restrictive some say I like technology because I made money from technology therefore every problem has to be solved by technology maybe some technology is needed but the heavy part could be behavioral change could be business model could be <coughs> educating the locals to understand the opportunity could be financing could be a entire ecosystem people are linear thinker they give the money nothing happened but um, can't BOP and start like an institute where they can